Hello, I am Wagon the Wagon Driver. My people are a humanoid race known as Elephamon. We are aware of a few other intelligent races on livable planets, such as humans. Humans would identify us as walking elephants who possess giant human arms and stout elephant-like legs. My world's wizards manipulated what earthlings call dark matter to spy upon other plants trillions of light years in distant galaxies. Our kingdom's highly respected wizards did and first mastered their one god-blessed magical ability to control the energy of chaos. They, and the wizards of our rivals, had finally tamed the colossal power within dark matter. But prosperity was not to come for our kingdom. Mobius, our elected ruler, had lied in promising to help his people prosper once we selected him as our next ruler. Within a year of his new rulership, Mobius had begun a war with all seven major kingdoms in our world. I learned from a well-connected friend that Mobius had also made a pact with the dark god known as Demagogon. That evil god promised Mobius and his highest-ranking leaders resurrection as demons on a medieval world. Supposedly, Demagogon also offered Mobius unlimited innocence in the form of children. My influential friend rushed to my home the dark night before the United Enemy Kingdoms planned on unleashing their dark magic orbs upon our kingdom. My friend told me he had one blue pill from God left that would resurrect me on the same world where Mobius would also be reborn. down Mobius and avenge our people. I swallowed the pill, then experienced confusing sadness within my thoughts. I did not deserve such a gift. I had no family. I had no children. Perhaps my friend had gifted the pill upon me foolishly. The following night, the greatest wizards of the seven enemy kingdoms plucked massive dark matter orbs with their ancient magic of fire and wind. Crystal orbs the size of buildings sailed a thousand miles through the night sky to shatter amid our cities. A thunderous boom shook the earth within a hundred mile radius upon the ground each orb struck. My city suffered a direct hit from one of the city slaying orbs. Elephamon are towering and strong, but our giant ears are keenly sensitive to human noises. The earth shattering scream of a dark matter orb's explosion had slapped me down to my knees in ear splitting agony. Then spiraling darkness engulfed my vision. I awoke outside of my home on a hill. I lay sprawled across my back on a bed of tall grass. I sat upright swiftly and looked down in fascination at my changed limbs. I possessed light brown skin and a dwarfish human body. When I gratefully realized I was alone, I looked up at a strange fluorescent white sun that filled the endless sky, a dull brilliance inferior to the radiance of my world sun. My surroundings grew progressively bizarre the more my wide eyes viewed. I heard a familiar voice within my thoughts. Wagon, retrieve me. I looked down at the grass beneath my booted feet and a six-feet spear forged of gleaming silver steel. Within my mind, I heard the voice of my loyal friend Thomas. He had given me a resurrection pill. Welcome to the world of Shadowlight, Wagon. Is that you, Thomas? I asked the spear. I slowly overcame my surprise of hearing my friend's voice in my thoughts while realizing he had physically transformed into a steel weapon. Thomas spoke in my thoughts again. It is I, Wagon. I had another resurrection pill for myself. Unfortunately, it did not bring me back into my body as it did you. I replied to Thomas out loud. Thomas, I have been reborn, but not in my old body. I am a human now, it looks like. Nay, your small human body is merely an illusion. You are still a robust elephant, and you merely appear as a human through the illusion of your integrity cast upon your massive body. I have also cast a protective of this world. Most likely there are not ear protectors on this world as there had been on ours. Thomas's calm yet demanding voice entered my thoughts once more. Remember the promise you made me, Wagon. We are here for a reason. I have already contacted powerful allies in this world while waiting for you to awaken. It seems Mobius's red pill allowed him to arrive on this world two years before us. End of chapter one of Shadowlight.